This is a new soldier fly generator. Uh, it is inside a composting bin and uh, it's now approximately a month old. It's sitting on top of about a foot of uh, compost or pre-composted material that I've laid out as a, as a, well, a sponge as Joe Jenkins calls it. Uh, as you can see in the bucket it is uh, thriving with black soldier flies including immature larvae that are just starting to develop. Uh, this I did seed it originally but these little ones are all new and I have seen uh, several females around the bucket who've been laying their eggs. As you can see once the contents are poured into the bottomless bucket here uh, the top is covered with grass and uh, the soldier fly larva do their thing. They'll also spread outside the bucket. Uh, they can actually climb up a vertical wall if it's moist uh, and escape, but um, they will uh, move into the surrounding compost and uh, it'll be full of larva also. They'll help digest the grass and generate heat, which is what it needs. As you can see, it's 140 degrees. That's a sustained temperature and that's six inches down. This is two days after I emptied the contents of the uh, collection container in the toilet into uh, the uh, soldier fly generator uh, here in the compost pile. And they all, unfortunately, I opened it up earlier and they all went down, but uh, this, they were completely covered with, with uh, soldier fly larvae. And you can see they have converted everything into just kind of a fine sawdusty type material. Um, this, when I put it in here, was uh, obviously lumpy from the waste, and but there was, and, and the medium from the toilet uh, was sawdust and peat moss. So they have taken that, and I covered it with grass a little bit to give them some. Uh, they like to be covered, and you can see that they've just converted everything into into this. There's absolutely no smell at all. Underneath is just uh, a sea of uh, black soldier fly larva. They have buried the thermometer. I'm going to see if I can... First I just want to show you how many there are in there, as you can see. But, let's go to where the thermometer is, see if we can get a temperature reading. There it is, 142 degrees.